Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023. That's kind of fun. This is Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. Tomorrow, Thursday the 24th, will be the first quarter moon looking beautiful in the evening sky as moisture returns to the state. Uh, sun is still quite active with a large number of mainly northern hemisphere sunspots facing Earth. Drought conditions have slightly worsened in the southwest. Uh, hopefully th this moisture coming in will help that. Looking nationally, we have a relief of the drought in the Midwest and a little worsening of the drought in Texas. It's really hot, so get a lot of evaporation that way. Smoke-wise, we have fires obviously ongoing in Canada. They really need a pattern change for that bring in the rains. Uh, so there's some smoke just about everywhere nationwide and you've seen the haze out there and we've had air quality alerts and like that. We're not even in the close to the worst of it. For the precipitation of the last week, still mainly eastern plains, northeastern corner uh, and that was wandering thunderstorms. So some people got a lot and places like Walmart got almost nothing. Looking at the animation quotes, of severe weather climatology. We've obviously passed the peak back in June. Going through July, you see the chances really drop. And here we are in the fourth week of August, and we have the lowest category of severe weather chances. And looking at the actual forecast for Wednesday, the chance of convection, but the severe stuff is far away. Still far away on Thursday, and just chance of thunderstorms. Nothing really severe on Friday. Looking at the National Weather Service forecast map for Wednesday, we do have a chance of storms, precipitation, uh, heavy flooding rains far south in New Mexico. Uh, then the chance of flooding level rains from thunderstorms uh, actually hits our little drought area somewhat on Thursday and then moves into the northeast and central part of the state for Friday. So we really should get quite wet. Um, taking a look at the ensemble, look how fast the normals are dropping from 86 to 83, 57 to 53 in just those 10 days at the beginning of September. Fall is getting ready to happen. Uh, the ensembles have very high chances of precipitation here on Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday, Monday here. And our first blob here is a, uh, I don't know what you call it, 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 was a, it was a tropical system and it moved across and moved into South Texas and the little swirl from that low is now on the New Mexico-Arizona border, drawing in tropical moisture, starting to moisten up the state and there's a cold front coming down that's going to interact with that. So Thursday morning the ridge that's been sitting over the southwest moves out to Arkansas Oklahoma area. That little low ripple is coming through and that's going to help kick off these enhanced showers. You can see the precipitation on Thursday morning associated with that low. Sunday, it's heading to Sunday midnight. Oh, there's the T, sorry. It changes when I put it on broadcast mode. Um, the ridge is back here, but we have this front interacting with the moisture that's around and lots of precipitation uh, expected. Let's put this in motion. Here's the high center out here and just a big southerly flow in the west. Going into Saturday and Sunday, there's a ripple there over Colorado. Then the high kind of reforms to our west with northwest flow. Northwest flow should keep us a little cooler, and you can also get those ripples in the flow that kick off random thunderstorms when the heating is right. The high is back here on the Colorado River around Las Vegas. Then by the first, it kind of drifts into southeast Colorado. But still, northwest flow is the um, overall pattern over Colorado. So taking a look at temperatures, we have rain-cooled air here with that low and the cloudiness associated with that. Here comes the cold front, cooling mainly on the uh, continental divide and eastward. Heat in the west still. Thunderstorms cooling things off by Sunday, Monday, and then another little shot of cold air coming down the plains that just backs up 
uh, to the mountains again for midweek. So interesting, we're starting to see uh, that's a pretty good cold front hitting the eastern part of the uh, nation. Looking at uh, precipitable water, we are above average in the west, and that's going to allow these storms to get what they need to be storms. There's a tropical system down here, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So yeah, going through Sunday, Monday, August 28th. And then into the weekend, we don't dry out until around Wednesday, August 30th. Surface dew points are very healthy and continue to hover in the upper 40s and lower 50s. If we go on to Friday, Saturday, there's 59, 60 dew points here. So lots of moisture, lots, uh, lots of precipitation is possible. Going into Monday next week, the 28th, we got dry air on the west a little bit, 40s dew points, there's 30s in the mountains and the western slopes by the 30th. And so things do tend to dry out. There's 30s and lower 40 dew points by Friday, September 1st. So all the real good precipitation is going to happen this weekend at the beginning of next week. So let's watch that precipitation come on up into Friday morning. Kind of continues much of the day on Friday into Saturday. And then reforms again for Saturday afternoon. There's Sunday afternoon, more storms and precipitation. And Monday, more in the mountains, and then shifting south of us. Big hurricane off the coast here, but staying out to sea right now. By the end of next week, we do see drier conditions. So over the next five days, the mountains could get inch and a half to even three inches around Colorado Springs and up in the hills. We're about half inch to three quarters of an inch, long I-25 here, Fort Collins down to Denver, not quite three quarters of an inch. Add the next 10 days and the mountains get a little bit more, nothing else seems to really change on the map. So we end our 90s for now as we finish Thursday and Friday's quite cool, 71 with rain very likely Saturday still cool tries to warm up on Sunday and then cools back down on Monday and we're just about normal seasonal temperatures for Tuesday let's quickly take a look at what's happening out in the ocean the Atlantic did turn on as far as hurricanes uh, are here's tropical storm Franklin <coughs> forming near the Dominican Republic drifting up here expected to become a hurricane scare people in the uh, Bermudas, there you go, not the Bahamas, Bermuda. But uh, right now, far from the U.S. mainland. Uh, further out is Cyclone Emily dying. And then we have uh, post-tropical Cyclone Gert just wandering around and dying there right now. So nothing too exciting, just some activity. Uh, take a look at Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader for local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking out.